in the previous video we looked at how to add date field in Django which was really cool because it can allow us to capture date of when something happened but the problem with we had with that one was if you look at the app we have to type the day the month and the year which is okay but to make it even um, more user-friendly we will want our application to give us a date picker where we can just select the date from a calendar by clicking on the purchase date will pop up a calendar where we can just choose the date which is more user-friendly and make it easier to use the application we can achieve this in three simple steps and all the steps are defined in the blog site step number one is to download jquery from this website going to jquery.com slash download currently our project already have jquery but it's the older version or is the slim version which doesn't work well with jquery ui so i will go back to jquery and download a full-blown jquery and you can use any of these two but i will use the compressed version Click on download compressed production jQuery 3.1 or you can click it. It will in, in on my browser it opens the code, the source code. So I'll just right click it and click save as. I'll navigate to where I have uh, statics and JS and I will save it here. I'll select save. Step number two is to download jQuery UI and that's the URL jqueryui.com slash downloads all right so with this you can just simply scroll down and click download or you choose the theme that you want to know which theme will really work well with your color settings of your application come to themes go to gallery and look at the theme that matches the setting or the color of your website my color is uh, kind of dark and gray color black and gray color so i can choose something that will match that color maybe this one dark ui or ui darkness i can click that and then see how that looks like and it it, it appears that this coloring will match my application so i can just simply scroll down and see the rest of the function of jquery ui that's the UI I want. I will just click download from here and then scroll down and select download. Okay, so open this and then extract it. Extract then show files, or you can go to downloads where it is downloaded in the downloads folder and cut it take it to your static folder in the app and static js right click and paste it here so i would like to rename you can leave the name as is but i want to remove the custom okay after that head back to the block side and copy the link under step 3 open um, computer entry from sublime and paste the code somewhere at the bottom okay so these are all CSS files so generally I like to put CSS at the top of the page somewhere around here paste that indent it properly so that it will be easy to read the code now for the js files i'm gonna select them cut them and replace all these js here you can see we have jquery 3.3.1 slim that mean this doesn't really work well with jquery ui this one doesn't really work with jquery ui we've already downloaded the jquery that's the, the new jquery so we're gonna replace all this code by pasting the new code 
now this code what it is doing is it is a static file it's gonna go into js go into js that's in our js folder and look for this other folder then this file so you can see if i navigate that's js then jquery ui folder and it will look for jquery ui.main.css which is right here jquery ui.main.css so it will also do it for structure.main.css and theme.main.css okay so all those files are available here and the same thing will be done for the js files go into um, js that's js and look for the file jquery 3.4.0.main.css but i can remember we downloaded a newer version which is 3.4.1 this is what i'm using for that um, code so i'll have to come and change here so depending on when you're viewing this video you might need to change the version of the jquery or the jquery ui based on whether you copy the code from the website or not so in this case i'm gonna um, give it 3.4.1 that means the css save it we have one more step to go switch back to the blog site and copy the last piece of code copy and take now here we will create a js file on the js folder right click and click new file paste the code and save it as custom.js save it so when i switch back to computer entry you can see js slash custom the js was also added so the name that you specified here is how you're going to save that file and this way we're going to write all our js and jquery javascript every single code that we're supposed to type in here supposed to be within the document or ready function which starts from here and ends here so i'm going to push this one down so that all the other jquery and js codes will be typed within these curly brackets all right so save that and head to the app click refresh and click on the purchase date and see whether your calendar is coming up if it's not loaded and you're using um chrome chrome sometimes cache um, static files so what you will do is to hold down control on the keyboard and press refresh that will force chrome to load all the files that are associated with this page and if you look at here you can see by we can choose the month we can also choose the year but this is um possible because we've added few parameters to this date picker function which is change year true and change month true so if i take out the change month if i cut that out save it and then go and refresh this page you can see if i click here you can only change the year so for the month we'll have to be switching back and forth which is not really very friendly so i'll have i had to add that change month change year within the date picker function so by refreshing that you can see we can change the month change the year so this is how you add jquery to django and how to add a date picker function to your application i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give us a thumbs up leave a comment below if you have any comments otherwise let's keep going